on my host system I'm running the latest version of Windows 11 and I'm running the latest version of VirtualBox which is version 7 at this time I've downloaded the license files and the ISOs and the packages from the VMS software site and I'm just using a very simple setup with a single uh, virtual drive in my virtual box with the VMS 9.2 ISO Okay, I'm just switching over to the terminal session now, which I'm just redirecting uh, the COM port to a telnet port, and I'm using uh, 1023, which is similar to what they've done in the uh, tutorial. Okay, I could actually use a physical terminal, Initially, I was going to try using my VT420, but unfortunately, the board rate's too high, and I'm still not quite sure how to actually change the board rate for the console version of VMS install. Okay, I'm going to it. Okay, I'm just going to echo. Set up okay. There's the drive that I've set up in VirtualBox, so we shall initialize it. We're going to take the default, and yeah, we'll use the latest file system. Uh, yes, I'm happy, so yes, this is okay. Zoom in a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to create a password for the house system account. Okay. And uh, wow. Our time zone. changed. Okay, 10. Yes, that's correct. Uh, we do, but I don't have the license file on. It's in an ISO, which I haven't mounted. Yes, we may well use deck windows and motif. Yeah. Okay, no. Okay, this is going to work in a VM, but what I really want to do is try and install this directly onto some x86 hardware. I did try my E5 2680V2 machine and it passed the hardware tests, uh, but then it actually hung in the actual installation process, but I'm going to look at that again later. That might just be fun just to actually get a running on uh, the actual hardware instead of in a VM. Even though the VM makes more sense, we can have multiple machines, we could even create a virtual cluster, but yeah, I just want to actually have it running directly on the hardware just, just for the fun of it. But that's something we'll look at later. Okay. Yeah, 
is, we'll just take the defaults. And I also have my Alpha Station uh, 255. And it might be great to have them actually networked. Uh, I'm happy with that. Okay. So it's very similar to the Alpha install. And for that matter, it's it's similar to the uh, Vax uh, 4.3 install I did some time ago. Even though the packages are a little bit newer, but yeah, the process is very similar. Except now we're seeing uh, VSI in the package names. through this, this may take some time. Oh, it's actually going along. Yes, it's now four o'clock in the morning. It's probably time that I uh, go to bed, but I just want to see if I can get this to actually boot up after the install. I've been playing with it now for about 12 hours. And this is the furthest I've got so far. But I spent a lot of time trying to get it run on my X79 Xeon system. still can't quite identify what the actual problem is. What I may actually do is copy this whole VM to my Xeon system. See if it actually will boot. At the moment, this is running on a i5 uh, quad core system with only 8 gig of RAM. And my Xeon system has 16 gig of RAM, and it's a 10 core 20 thread system so it might be interesting to, to give it a run also I had a look at if I could actually install this on my uh, Ryzen uh, 5800 system but 
I got a, a no X save error. But I believe there is going to be an update that will allow it to run on Ryzen systems in Red River. But we'll look at that again later. Sixty per cent. Yeah, and I'm just filming this on my mobile phone, so it's not the the best, but uh, this was just something I thought was worth capturing because I actually got it to actually um, run the installer. This is a bit convoluted. I actually am uh, remoting into my um, Intel i5 from my Ryzen system just to add another layer of complexity to the install, which is totally unnecessary. But yeah, it is what it is. interesting to see how the performance compares against my uh, alpha. I also have a HP uh, DS25 that has dual 1 gigahertz alpha processors with uh, 8 gig of uh, memory. So it'd be very interesting to see how the virtualized system compares against uh, my entry level alpha versus my uh, dual processor alpha server. They're both uh, running 7.3 and 8.4 We'll do is take some of my code, uh, Fortran code, and recompile it on the x86 version just to see how it actually runs. Okay. Well, it's only been running for 15 minutes and um, it's doing quite well. I also have a dinker board that's running copy of Debian which has uh, SimH installed which I also have a Microvax 3900 set up under SimH and when I installed uh, OpenBMS 7.3 on that it took probably over an hour to get to this point But once it's installed, I must admit it was much uh, zippier than any microvax I used back in the uh, 90s, early 90s. Yes, the first fax system I used, of course, was the uh, Honourable. 11780 when I was a student. Uh, and I was 
was working at the Royal Australian Observatory at Siding Springs. And then I returned a few years later where I was the youth support coordinator for six years. And the microbiome Sullivan 7 Air was still running, but it was shortly phased out and replaced with a Microvax 4000 and 3800. Okay. Okay. Pearl for open BMS. Okay, cool. Turn. Okay. Now let's let's shut it down. Okay. And let's see. Press any key. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's boot the drive that we initialized and installed the software onto, which was DKA0. Okay, so SATA, and we can see the DVD still mounted. Wow, okay, and now let's switch back to our terminal. I'll go through the guide later and do everything else that I need to do. And we'll mount the ISO that I've added the license to and the packages. So we'll be able to mount that uh, as a CD image. DKA zero. Well, we've successfully installed it. Yes, I haven't installed the licenses. It's okay. going there. Okay, that's fine. I don't think that will work. Yeah, I think we need to define how. Oh no, cool. It must be. Okay. Ah, fantastic. Okay, a lot of work to be done, and then a lot of fun to be had. And we've made some good progress. reboot the system now. Isn't that bloody marvellous? Okay, well, I'm quite pleased with the progress I've made 
and now I need to go and get some sleep, so we'll catch you next time. Okay, take care.